Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Origins Easter Egg and this is going to work whether you want to play the Black Ops 2 Original Origins Zombies map or the DLC 5 Origins Remaster. All the steps are the same and it's going to work on the Original Origins and on Origins Remaster as well. And in this video I will be showing you guys each and every single step and uh, the only thing I'm not going to show you is how to get the staffs and upgrade them. I have a separate video on that. I will link it down in the description below. Check that out if you need help building all the staffs and upgrade. It's a really really a uh, quick guide with timestamps and everything like that so you can actually look up for example if you want to know how to build a fire staff hey I got the timestamp in that video description so you can actually click that and you know how to upgrade that as well so that is that I will link it in the description below and also if you want to do this Easter egg solo hey I will show you exactly that but if you want to do this Easter egg with two players hey leave your PSN gamer tags or Steam IDs or PS3 IDs if you're playing the origins on PS3 or 360 just leave everything in the description below if you guys want to party up and want to do this easter egg with two players three players or four players all the steps are the same and i guess let's get this started so you know you need to get the staffs and everything like that you want to make sure all those are upgraded and also you want to make sure all the six generators are on and now you need to actually feed soul boxes now you can actually do this as soon as you start up origins uh like you can do this before upgrading the staffs or after that it does not matter but i will show you each and every single step so so you need to feed soul boxes and there are four soul boxes around the map if you're playing Origins or Origins Remaster. Once again, it does not matter. So there are four soul boxes and you need about 20 to 30 kills and you want to make sure that you are timing this correctly because if the robot actually steps on it, it's going to reset. So that is that. So there are four boxes. One can be around generator number five near stamina up. So this is the one and once again, like I said, like you want to make sure you want to time this correctly. If the if you got about 19 kills and you're missing just one kill, just one zombie kill and that zombie is not spawning in and the next thing you know, boy oh boy, the robot steps on it, it's going to completely reset so I uh, just want to make sure about that. So that is the, the first soul box, the next one is going to be around the excavation side, it's going to be in the middle. Once again, this is going to be in the robot pathway which kind of sucks at the same time but it is kind of what it is so uh, that that's that. So that is the number two and then the next one is going to be around the excavation. I should say the generator number four near Juggernaut. So that is the third one right here. Once again, you want to get 20 kills. And the last one is going to be around the church generator number six area right here. And once again, it's going to be in the robot pathway. So these are the soul boxes. You can do this as soon as you start up Origins. That is the first step. And once you do that, you can now go ahead to the church area to the generator number six and you can now pick up your Thunderfist. So once you got that, the next step is to actually get the tablet from generator number two tank station it's going to be on the table right here you want to pick up this tablet and you want to make your way to the generator number six inside the church room and you want to put this in water and you want to bathe that shit up and you need to get about 20 melee kills now keep in mind those melee kills can be with your Thunderfist. like i showed you how to get the Thunderfist, so that is going to make it 10 times easy for you to actually get those melee kills but you can actually kill zombies with your zombie shield that counts as a melee kill and you can also kill zombies with your your upgraded staff so that can be another thing but you also need to actually fill up soul boxes and get the Thunderfist because we need to actually complete that step so make sure you got that and make sure you do this so 20 kills 20 melee kills and after that you want to pick this bad boy up you will see the color will change it will be more white as soon as that is cleaned up and everything like that so you want to pick this up and you want to make your way back to the generator number two tank station and put it back on the table now here's the catch you do not want to walk on mud so that, that's a complete no-no. You don't want to walk on mud because that will reset the process and you would have to actually bait that tablet once again and that is kind of like, it's going to be really, really frustrating depending on what round you're on. So that is that. So in order to avoid, make sure you are jumping and you make sure you are walking on the on the wood and follow this path right here that I'm showing you in the gameplay. So it, it's going to lead you exactly to the tank station, to the, uh, to the table right here. So once you actually get to the generator number two tank station, place your tablet on the table right here and now you need to once again get 20 kills in order to acquire the airstrike so once you get a couple of melee kills you will see there's an airstrike that will be available on the table right here pick that up and that is that and now we're on to the next step which is to actually get the maxis drone once again you can actually get the maxis drone as soon as you spawn in and as soon as you spawn in you know that there is a brain in the spawn room so that is one part for the maxis drone so that is maxis brain pick that up and the next 
part is the body part of the, the Maxis drawn, and there are three locations where the body part of the Maxis drawn can spawn in. So it can either spawn in between the path of church and generator number five, or church and generator number four. It's going to be on this path right here. This is a tank path, so it's going to be right here. These are the two locations, or it can be inside the ice tunnel, which is going to be once again near generator number six. So that is that. That's the second part. And the last part is going to be the rotor, and that can spawn inside the excavation site. It's going to be near the pack punch right here, or it will be down there near the where the gramophone spawns, and it's going to be around this area, or it can be by the mule kick. So these are all the, the parts, and simply go ahead and build up your Max's drone. Now we're on to the next step, which is to actually place your staffs inside the robot head. And the only way you can actually get inside the robot head is to actually see what foot is lit up. And if you see there's a foot lit up, you can shoot that, and you need to be in the robot pathway, and he will step on you, and then you will be entered in the robot. Now, there are three staffs that you need to actually put inside the robot head. There is no like you have to do this in any order. You can do this in any order you would like to, but it needs to be specific. So, the the eye staff needs to be inside the church uh, robot. So, there will be a robot that will come around the church area. It will step around the generator number six around the church area. So, the eye staff is gonna go there. The wind staff is gonna go in the middle robot head. And the lightning staff is gonna go inside the robot that actually steps on uh, around the, the starting room. So, that is that. And once you got all of that, now you need to actually press a red button when you are inside the robot head because you need to actually launch your air strike that we picked up from the table by doing that tablet step. Now the best way to do this step is to actually be inside the middle robot head and you will see there's a red button so simply just be close to it and once you are inside the robot head and if you're staying in for too long you will hear that there is going to be a countdown that will go off and that will actually kick you once that reaches zero. So once the countdown reaches one you want to actually hold square X or F on that red button and now you're actually going to get kicked out of that middle robot head and you will just going to fall down and what you want to do is you want to come up to this area and you want to throw up your airstrike exactly right here and that will make that bunker just blow up and you'll see that there will be a lot of panzers that will spawn and simply just kill all of them and now what you want to do is make sure you deploy your Maxis drone the one that we have built earlier and that will go down and that will just like get the part that you need so that is that and now the next step is to actually get zombie blood now you can actually make your own zombie blood with the eye staff and everything like that but once you get the zombie blood make sure you look up in the sky and you will see there will be an airplane that will be circling around and that will be kind of lit up and that will have like a yellow light on it you want to simply shoot that plane down and you will see the pilot will fall down and he will always do the clockwise around the excavation side so simply go in counterclockwise make sure you take that son of a gun down and he will drop the maxis drone and you want to pick that maxis drone up and now you need to actually go down to the excavation side and there will be a couple of like snow zombies or zombies with like white color around their wrist and everything like that and now you need to actually punch those zombies you need to get melee kills with the with the thunder fist about like you need to get about 20 kills so that is that and now we're on to the last step which is to actually place all your staffs down in Agartha so simply make your way over to the crazy place place all your staffs down in here and now you need to get about 100 kill you can get 100 kills with your guns it does not need to be melee kills but you need to get 100 kills in total and once you get 100 kills you will see the gateway to Agartha will be open up there will be a portal and you simply want to fly your Maxis drone into that portal and boom here you go you got your Easter egg done if you have found this video quick and informative give it a like subscribe for more